I'm Lucy, all the way from New Zealand, and the channel Lulastic and Hippie Shake, and I am a homestead homie. You're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacey. Hey, I love those intros. And I'm Stacy with Off Grid with Doug and Stacey, and today I'm going to bring you along. I'm going to make kind of a brunch. You can make this into a full-blown meal if you want. You can do it for a brunch, breakfast, however. It got a little late, so today Doug and I are having brunch. And all it is is I'm going to do kind of a Mexican-inspired type stuffed pepper. So I want to show you some of the things I'm going to use. It's really, really easy. Um, I always like to make... Um, extra rice or quinoa so that I could use it for other recipes and I have some leftover extra brown rice that I had so I'm going to use that for inspiration when I'm making my peppers today. All right so all I need is some peppers. Um, I'm gonna I, this is a, a tricolor one you could use all yellow all red all green whatever you got so I'm gonna use one of each because I had one of those packs I had all three. You need three um, open range free range eggs um, some type of rice that you have we also did, I did a video on some brown rice. We'll link that above too. And um, you're going to need some mozzarella cheese or che cheddar cheese, whatever cheese you have. Um, and you're going to also need a jalapeno, some cilantro, um, chopped tomatoes, and some garlic and onions, sour cream and salsa. So in my cast iron pan here, I have diced and I put up a whole onion in there. And I, I put about four uh, minced garlic cloves in there and then I chopped up a small jalapeno and I've also chopped up some cilantro and then I put it in with some refined coconut oil now let me talk about that real quick all right I get a lot of questions about coconut oil coconut oil there's two kinds you want like the, um, there's organic unrefined coconut oil you have refined coconut oil and people are like you know when you hear refined usually you think it's not good but actually the difference between the two, the nutritional value and all that is the same. A fat is a fat. You're not going to change that at all. The only difference in the coconut oil is unrefined has the flavor to it, that coconut -y flavor, and refined has no flavor at all. So use them both. So coconut oil is a great saturated fat for you guys that you could cook with. So on this one, I don't want the coconut taste to go into my kind of Mexican-inspired meal. So that's it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on, you know, medium heat. And I'm going to saute my onions and my garlic and my oil, my refined coconut oil this time. And you've got cuckoo there. And um, my jalapenos and my cilantro. So I'm just going to do this for a few minutes. All right, it's been about um, 10 minutes or so. I kind of sauteed it down there. And then I'm going to put a couple cups of rice in there. Might be a little more. And then um, I'm going to put in just a few of my tomatoes because I don't want them to get too mushy. So I'm just going to put them in. I just want everything to kind of get the flavor. And then I'm going to put a cup of salsa in there. And mix it all up really good to get all the flavors. And this is what I'm going to use for my stuffing for my peppers. So now in the meantime, I want you guys to make sure your ovens are preheated to about 375 because we're going to let them cook about 25 minutes or so. You're going to go ahead and get this little stuffing that we have made and we're going to put it inside of the peppers. I'm going to fill all of them up really good. Okay, so I took it out of the oven at about 25 minutes at 375. Check it about, you know, 15, 20 minutes to see how your oven's doing. Um, sometimes it might take 20 minutes, but just check it out. So as you can see here, I paired it with some blue tortilla chips. Um, make sure you get organic, non-GMO. And I'm going to use um, some fermented salsa that I had made. And I'll link that above too. And some sour cream. And then I'm also going to serve it with some fermented carrots. I just did a video recently on fermenting for dummies. 
a wonderful fermenting kit. So I'll put that in here too because you guys know we want to eat fermented food every day in our diet to help with our immune system, to help with digestion, to just help with life and feeling great. And Okay, so this is not a boring breakfast because you know, Doug always likes to have breakfast every single day and I'm like, what am I gonna make? What am I gonna make? This is definitely not a boring breakfast or brunch and it's something that's good. You wanna look at your food. You wanna have a lot of colors on it. This is just a great way to get the vegetables in there, getting your fermented food in there, having a little fun in there and um, it tastes great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, after you try it, let us know what you think because I like to hear lots of feedback from everybody to find out you know, what you guys thought of these recipes. And maybe give us some great ideas that you have for breakfast too, because I always need some. So check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This is Off We Were Doug and Stacy, and I'm Stacy, and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.